I've definitely had moves that stop me and become more like mental than physical. I'll get demotivated kind of or like intimidated if I think of how long I have to climb to get to the top rather than breaking it up into sequences. Yeah, it's all about just living healthy and then you'll last longer I like exercising. And I'm excited to be working with Life Strength. Really cool uh, product and technology. So it's exciting. I'm excited to be like a part of it. It's cool to be like a part of something growing. It's really enriching to be able to like have your passion as your job. I guess climbing is my technical job and my profession, but it doesn't feel like work ever. And I think that's how work should be. You're, you're working, but I mean, you're living. I think my happiest moment so far in my career was when I sent Pure Imagination. Well, everyone, when they see me do something, it's like, I can do that. Which is like kind of <laughs> almost an insult, but like at the same time, you can roll with it. Is it like, oh, Sasha did it, we can all do it? Like, that's kind of weird. Golden's so pretty. I think the pureness and like the angle and the consistency maybe. Like that, that 12 B on the left is just, I don't know, this face that looks like inviting to climb. I don't really know exactly what it is. You're just, you wanna be up at the top, or I do. I think those are the most beautiful, right? the ones where you can click into that movement and fluidity. That's why I've always liked sport climbing more than bouldering too. You like tap into this different mentality where you're just going. You feel like you're on top. <laughs> I'm above this. <laughs> In a non like arrogant tone, but like I see all. <laughs> you get nervous because you want to send the route, but I don't get nervous because of the heights or anything. I've broken my back, actually. I fell and cracked the L4 vertebrate. Um, that was maybe the worst. And then I injured my ankle three years in a row, actually. I tore three ligaments and I cracked the growth plate um, from falling. These were all bouldering incidents. <laughs> bouldering is climbing without a rope. Um, shorter walls, like this. Like, um, to the top of that, you don't need a rope. You just fall on the crash pads. And it's shorter problems, shorter, more uh, concise climbs. Yeah, I just kind of slipped. Kind of like in one of the difficult sections. The ending has like a last hard part. Because I've done it to the top, but to do it clean is kind of the goal. They hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you like file them down. They aren't bleeding yet though. Normally I bleed my hands. <laughs> Actually, if you look at my fingers, this finger and this finger are incredibly crooked because my tendon developed before the bone fragment did, and I'm missing that little bone fragment in my finger that would make it more straight. Ugh. I'm out the fury. I think it's just more like longer moves that I can avoid. Like at the top there, I don't find it necessarily that as hard, but like you have to really reach high to get the holds and like get getting that undercutting on like 
full extension. And um, actually the hold that you're going off of is meant to be a pinch, but my hand's too small to pinch it. So I have to get this like weird, my nail catches on this nibbit thing. And so I'm grabbing it like that instead of like this, which would make a lot more sense. But it's cool. And I never find there's a really time frame you can guarantee with it. Because you never know what to expect. From when I was like eight till 12, I climbed with Claudio Vidalescu. And then from when I was like 12 to 14, I climbed with Vidin in New York. But now I don't. I haven't had a coach in a while. I find I'm more inspired by friends. Most of my friends I compete with. So we'll travel together for a competition. Don't, don't set perceived boundaries, like anything's possible. Which is so cliche to hear, but it's so true, like you can surprise yourself all the time. And I think the bigger dreams you set for yourself, then like you have more window for um, success and failure. I know, the higher you set your dreams, then like if you fall a little short, kind of like that quote, you shoot for the moon and if you fall short you're still in the stars. Kind of is like that in climbing too. Like you can dream to be, I don't know, sending 515s and then send a 514 and that's still really cool too. <laughs>